All right, rundown. Uh, March 11th. 11th. Brought to you by High Noon. High Noon, El Prez back here. I, I look for it everywhere I go. It's my favorite. Ask for it, look for it. It's not everywhere, but wherever you have it, passion fruit, pineapple, pear, and tangerine. Tangerine's like so good if you haven't had it yet. 12 pack, only limited time. Look for my face on it. You can scan the uh, QR code. And then I join a mini me joins you at a party. Visit high noon spirits.com to find the El Prez pack near you. We're doing a lot with them, obviously. March Madness time. This thing's down. Um, okay, it's Rico. Welcome. Uh, do we, no. what do we got? Do we got Mopey Rico or good Rico? No, absolutely not. Thanks for the opportunity. Excited for it. What good. are we gonna have Mopey Rico all week when you come here for conference championship? I haven't, I haven't been Mopey at all. Wrong. Well, no, you were Mopey it. when you came for the combine. I Confirmed. was uh, I was there was nervous energy. I was nervous. nervous, nervous to under deliver, but had some great, you know, some moments, obviously not great okay. athletically, but you know, yeah, no, we're good to go. Let's right. start. First thing I have is the sec women's championship, uh, which I was watching. I, I'm going to say this right off the bat and we're going to the final four in Phoenix. Um, and I don't think they're the same, but if you told me I could only go to one final four, this year, I choose the women. I think there's a chance. I haven't seen the bracket, but you got a real good chance those two teams re re meet in the final four, and they get Iowa. I'm assuming. I think those are all one seeds, probably. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't know if LSU is, but definitely South Carolina, definitely Iowa. So you have three different regions, and you have those three teams, all of them intertwined with true hatred in of each other. That is something. I just finished. Plus, you could have UConn as the fourth. With the I didn't think line. UConn was that great. Just, yeah, but it's the big bad wolf. You know what I mean? Or you no, can have Ohio. No, they're State not. They're, they're not against. the big. Yeah, they're not the big bad wolf. I don't think of women's basketball in general. No, UConn, I, I would mean say that they are. Well, going back when? Last thirty years. Tennessee. Yeah, UConn's I mean, won you, more titles than Tennessee. Yeah, no, I know, yeah. but the, but I mean, they're ago. they're they're they haven't been a real threat. I didn't think it would for just a be bit. a dream. It would be a dream Final Four. Yeah. I don't, I don't. I honestly don't know the fourth team. Those three to me are so far ahead in terms of like Stanford. headlines. Stanford, yes, yeah, Stanford, and yes, yeah, Stanford. Did, although, did they lose? They're losing. They got a bunch of fret. Notre Dame has a player. Uh, there's a bunch of freshmen. But LSU's the, the, eighth in the country, so they might not be uh, a, one. a number one seed. And UConn's tenth, so Rico doesn't know ball. They will definitely not be a number one seed. No, I, Rico definitely they can make doesn't make the final know, four. No, Dan. Yeah, no, but the, you don't know ball like women's ball. There is because I don't even like before I tuned in, like LSU, I know a bunch of their players, like or back. I knew a bunch of the South Carolina players, and obviously have Caitlin Clark in Iowa. I, I did this rant a little bit before, and I was watching this game because I was just and that says a lot. I was genuinely interested in the game. Um Shannon Sharp went on a rant, so they get in the fight. Kim Malarkey at the end of the game, she she basically said. Pick on someone your own size. I wish uh, Cardosa ran into like um, the girl that I had the beef with. Angel Reese. Angel Reese instead of a little girl. And Shannon Sharp's like, you got to be better than that. Moral high ground. You got uh, the resident race baiter, Jamil Hill. She's like, oh, imagine if Don Staley said that. What? what was wrong with saying pick on somebody your own size? People treat this women's game. This is why the women's game is so good right now. There's real hatred, real stars. These crazy, like Kim Malarkey, straight out of like the Big East in the '80s when they had all these coaches. Like I hate Kim Malarkey because I'm an Iowa fan, but she's entertaining. Don Staley is entertaining. Why are people so bent out of shape about that comment? That's like a very normal thing to say. By the way, Cardoza, I love that she did that. She was just like, oh, shit's going down. I'm just going to run someone over. That's Smash a great team. that girl. And then you see Van Lith like sprinted into the mix. And then she got close to Cardosa. She's like, I think I'll back out of here. It yeah. was great. It, it was, was great. great. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Are, she's getting crucified. Malarkey. That makes no sense. That's it's like because, a very common thing to say like, oh, yeah, pick on someone your own size. That's exactly what it is. It's because all these people who are like, we want the women's game, women's game, they get upset when you actually treat it the same way. That's what happened with me with Angel Reese. If I called a man in that situation last year a classless piece of shit, nobody would have said a word. But because she's female, people go crazy. But it's like you're watching the game with the same intensity, same passion, everything. And now Shan Sharp, who, by the way, 
Last year, you almost caused a fight at an NBA game in the front row with a player. You have the moral high ground now, being Good like point. pick on someone your own size. Good point. I loved it. I yeah. can't what, wait for the women's game. If Angel no. Reese, if if LSU had won that game, they won the SEC title. Well, actually, LSU is not a good example because they won the national title last last year. So if so, South Carolina won the SEC title. If Cardoza did uh, the Kobe Bryant picture shoot after winning an SEC title, what would you say? I'd love it. No, I would. That's crazy to do the Kobe shoot for a Big Ten title. Dan, Dan. It's step one. It's step Dan, one. Dan, Next was, step is the timeout. Yeah. She was asked to do it. So yes. you say no. You can't say she's accommodating. You got to say no. She's, That's a national title picture. They ain't winning the title. I hope they do. Dave, but that's a you, national title that picture. That goes back that's, to that other idiot, Jason Williams, saying she's not a great player. LSU and South Carolina are loaded, loaded. Like, if she wins the national title, it'll be the greatest athletic achievement by anybody ever. Because ever. she'll have to be so much better herself. She'll have to just, I mean, she'll have to be unbelievable. Because they're that the top to bottom, the other two teams are so superior to Iowa. Someone should tell that to Jason Williams. And also, everything in women's hoop gets brought to race a lot faster than the men. Like I remember last year, Dawn Staley, who this time she's getting credited for being like, you know, that was an ugly incident, blah, blah. If you recall, after Iowa beat them in the playoffs, the Iowa coach in the tournament, the Iowa coach last year was like, man, that game was a bar fight. And Dawn Staley got all bent out of shape. She's like, what do you mean? We're not thugs. It's like, she was saying it was like a hard fought game. Like it, a war. It is very weird. The women's game, like it's been incredible to watch. And you're right. The rivalries are awesome. Like, but it's so weird to have then have everyone policing it. Like we got to touch it with kid gloves. Like that's why my can't point. we, yeah. Why can't we talk about it? Like we talk about the men's game. Like this that's is exactly my point because it's gotten there. Everything you've won and, want out of the women's game like when UConn was running the table there was in Geno and then Tennessee there weren't enough right it was like one team dominating you have now different teams that can win coaches rival it, it's awesome the women's game is awesome I want to be able to watch it like how I watch a men's game and not be worried oh you said that it's crazy now a brother jumping over the scores table you don't see that all the time but that, that wild. was crazy too wild and, and it, well, related to one of the players the brother right it was the brother oh yeah i, I want to make sure just yeah, yeah. it was yeah. the it, it was, was the brother. sibling i thought you said a brother player. and i was like it a, was a, a related oh, a relation. Come on, Dan. yes well i didn't know you said a brother i was like a relation. Relate. oh you don't think ct30 or whatever would take that and like twist that into his own world by the way did you see uh i don't know if it's true but how dumb is Schefter? That's a side. Note. Schefter actually interacted with AB. Yeah, you can't send that DM. You can't you interact with him. Right to public. Yeah, what a yeah. dummy. Yeah, can't get dumb. Um, so that's the first thing. UFC, I went to it. Everyone was saying it was the best card ever. How's your shoulder? Trump dominated me. Dan he texted pulled. me right he after. He gave a pull. I he texted Dave pull. instantly. Was that the bad shoulder? No, you. I handshake with the right, but I wasn't. I know he handshakes like that. That's a well-known fact. I just extra tug. Yeah, the yeah. minute Dave, the minute it happened, I just texted Dave. I was like, "Are you uh, like you just got manhandled? Are you okay?" Because I saw in his face when he sat oh. down, he was just like, "My shoulders fucked." And <laughs> Will and Taylor, they like they got up right before he walked in to go find like an offense alignment or something. So there was no one else in the area. It was like, I had the whole, I could see yeah. it coming. I was like, I'm like, Oh, this is gonna like, this. we're headed to a collision course <laughs> with him coming in. So he that, just fucked you up. Yeah. Willie Democrat. Who knew he, what Willie Democrat? Who no, knew? those guys, if Trump told him to suck the dick, those two would <laughs> like literally they, they probably would a uh, lot of stars a lot of people at the event i was sitting next to edelman uh sage steel there was one the first time i met joe burrow yeah he's the best the coolest cat i haven't seen a cool cat like him in a long time it's crazy <laughs> he is the like something about him his aura he's, he's just, just cooler than everyone he's he is much and, and so i met him with bosa you know, Bosa was talking to me, still marbles in his mouth. I don't even understand what he's saying. The guy Hubbard, Sam Hubbard, who looks 
like he's in the Bosa family, like a great looking, like, but they, they just fade into the sunset. Burrow just yeah. didn't even say something. It's just, he has that Joe cool era of some, he's just a cool cat. He, Very the, cool the, cat. The glasses he wears, like those, you can't they make those no, off. They don't even make sense then. He met they Trump no with sense. them on. He but then they with, make sense when he puts them on. Correct. Yeah, like it, those glasses. Anyone else wears them? Like, what are you fucking doing? Only, I bag? literally said only that certain to, guys can do that shit. I yeah. said that to Will Taylor. I go, those glasses he met. He met trying. He goes, those look like you put a quarter in and get them out of like a machine, you know. And they, but it it works. They work. Yeah. yeah. It, it it that's the first I met him, and he definitely. I was. I, I also was like, you bust his ball. Well, not bust him. Like, I put a million bucks on him. He got hurt five seconds later. He, he handled that. But I, I will rebet on the Bengals based on his aura, as long yeah. as he can stay healthy. He's Joe um, Cool. Yeah. The, the fight itself was just mismatched. Uh, and by the way, I, what time did it get over? Uh, like maybe 1230 Central. So, yeah, so like one I got home at like four in the morning and yeah. I, I like went straight home. Yeah, so yeah, long. it was it was late. That uh, Poirier fight was awesome, though. Awesome, that was the fight of the night. Yeah, the the, the the guy from Bellator, exciting, good, but the Poirier was a fight of the night. I, so I I placed the wrong bet. I bet against Poirier by accident, and then Poirier, who I've never met. Our seats were right there. He's in the ring. He made eye contact with me. He's before. a stoolie. Yeah, he made eye contact with me before the fight. He goes, let's go. I fucking got this to me. I'm like, I, I get 20 grand on the other guy by accident. So I was happy he won. But yeah, that was a great fight. That was he, that was an unbelievable fight. He I didn't know he was a stoolie. Yeah, you, did, you didn't because you were there. So you didn't hear it. But it was, I love Poirier so much. He's just like, he's such a dog. He was doing the guillotine move over and over. Over and French over. guy. And in between the first and second round, his corner was like, stop doing that. Every time you do it, you end up in a bad spot. Ten seconds into the second round, he's like, fuck it, I'm doing it again. I he just kept fucking loved it. it. He kept yeah. doing it. Um, the Oscars. Rico, this is this is actually in our pregame. I said, let's have Tate on the show. And yeah, it's his said, first day. That makes sense. Correct. And then Dan said, Rico may have something to add for the Oscars. I said he might have uh, something stupid to say because you always have stupid things to say about movies. Okay, you so come from the guy who saw one movie. Okay, what? Which movie did I see? The one uh, to quote yeah, Jeff Delo, won, won, we won, won a movie championship. I, I don't. I I thought Oppenheimer was overrated too long. I didn't see it. I was surprised Tina Wait, Turner what? got the. So how are you blaming me? You didn't see the best picture. Because I just watch, but I don't have strong takes on it if I don't see it. Like I'm not like Oppenheimer shouldn't have won. I I just enjoy the the arts. I, 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 by the I way, before shocked. you do this, did you did, are you calling bullshit on me that I ate four popcorns? Absolutely not. I did not call that it's bullshit. I would like a shot at the title to because I equated it to two sprinters in the heats before it. I want to see how fast I can run next to you. But four popcorns is is crazy. It seemed like you were questioning the authenticity not of the claim. Not really. I what think do you mean maybe not I really. Yes or I no? I, like, that, yes. I may have thrown that in there. No, I think you ate the four. Okay. But it's great. The the amount is crazy. Did you go through how many waters did you go through? There's no way you went through that dry. Yeah, Three. you got it. But no but piss. But I've told you no didn't piss? No, I don't piss. You got you I heard Jeff D. Low like piss no like piss. ten times in a movie. It's crazy. Like That's Robbie nuts. said he has to fill him in when he gets up. But no. did you listen to what I said? I get I'm an early I go an hour before yeah, the that preview. makes sense. So I'm a popcorn and a half down before the previews even begin. And the yeah. movie theater I go, you can re you can press a button, they bring it to you. Yeah. No, there's nothing better. I, you can get it on one of the apps, and I got it delivered for a big football game. There's nothing better than movie theater popcorn. Anyways, so, go ahead. So Oscar. what are your Oscars takes? I saw you I was trashing surprised Al Pacino. Tina, I, was, I was surprised. Yeah, Pacino was lost. I was surprised. Who uh, cares? He's a legend. Yeah, 137 Oscar nominations. Um, I was surprised Tina Turner got the hammer shot and the death montage. I told you, Dave, he'd had something. What does that mean? The last shot? I, the last I didn't shot. Watch, I, I barely watched the Oscars. When did I was she tired die? went to bed. This year, apparently. I thought Gosling's song was pretty good. I thought Kimmel was okay. Wait, who should have gotten the hammer shot? Nice. Who uh, should have? Jane Buffett. You can't say you don't think <laughs> someone <laughs> should have. By the way, you see that concert I'm missing? Yo, yeah. that's nuts. Do you crazy. see who's playing? 
Yeah. The team, the team, the team. Move and Mincy doesn't even get it. I sent it to him. He's like, well, he did something. Chat. He doesn't even get what I was the point no. that I was making. Because I saw no. Boston, Boston ended up winning the uh the war, huh? What? With the trivia? They moved it. We got that email today. Yeah, that wasn't a huge war. That that should have been never made it to my desk. It was an easy solution. Makes sense. Wait, wait, Rico, go back real quick. If you have an opinion that Tina Turner shouldn't have gotten the hammer shot, you have to have a solution. Yep. Paul Rubens. Pee Wee? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I love I'm the biggest Pee Wee fan, but like I that's that's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I think I don't know. Tina Turner's more when you think Tina that's Turner, a, Dave, you, don't you, you think just, music? You, ha- you just do half thought out takes then. You're like Tina Turner shouldn't have got the Matthew hammer Perry, shot. Well, Matthew Perry Matthew Matthew Perry Matthew Perry I would put on too. Grant that's a decent answer. But Matthew Perry's an easy yeah, answer. Yeah, but but I, I Tina agree. Turner's music. You can't have yeah, a well, movie then person you can't say, get then you the can't hammer say shot Matthew in a movie. Perry. You can't say yeah, Matthew Perry. Yeah, he's a TV guy. Yeah, but if nobody really stood out, Matthew Perry was in movies. So was Tina Turner. There was a movie about Tina Turner. Okay. What was it called? What's love got to do with that? I think uh, it didn't she win an Oscar for that? The the woman who played that? Really? Yeah, I believe so. I think Tina Turner was also in The Wiz. There's you know a movie that is? about how, there's a movie about Ike Turner and Tina Turner. I think that won an Oscar, the woman who played it. That's the famous the- headline when when Ike Turner died. Ike beats Tina to death. That's not funny. Why wouldn't you wear you the new, why wouldn't you wear the new just cover hat? Good question. I didn't get I didn't get it. Those new what? ones are so sick. It's like yeah, you're wearing not. last year's like model. No, it's what I got. Shout out forty seven. It's what I got. I'll get some new ones next week. You're only there for the for the tournament, correct? You're not there this week? No. You're only there, there for the first two days. Yeah, ice Yeah, that oh, I think I go to IceCon. Um all right. Oscars. When is IceCon? That's Sunday? Yeah. Saturday. So are you going to leave Saturday? No, it's Sunday. So are you going to so leave Sunday morning? Saturday morning. We're going to the Barstool Bar to watch the game Saturday night. Then IceCon at the DraftKings Bar on Sunday. Uh, I will say I knew I should have bet it. Tina I Turner was I in a lot of movies. Oh. All right. I stand corrected. Yep. Wrong. Um, Poor things. Emma Stone, I knew she was going to win. I can't believe she was plus 150. She was amazing. I thought the movie was okay. She was amazing. And I usually don't appreciate acting. She was amazing. Overall, I can't watch the Oscars. They're so full of themselves. It, 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 it's like, uh, it reminds me of Best in Show. That's how I watch the Oscars, like in that tone where they're just taking themselves so unbelievably seriously, and they're just actors and actresses. Yeah. Uh, Francis Nagano. Yeah, it's good. It's one night. It's fucking whatever. Uh, I just got this text in case you didn't see this. Saquon of the Eagles. You see that? That was like an hour ago. All right. The text was they may not know about it. So bring it up. Oh, yeah. And Kirk Cousins to the Falcons. Yeah. And Mac Jones to the. Uh, yeah. What's up Jags. with that, Dave? We're going to say maybe he's not the guy. Stephen Shea kind of bodied you. Well, who, speaking of Stephen Shea, who did they just sign? Baker. Would you have said he's not the guy when he ended yes. up in Tampa? A lot of right, football but, left in. A lot of football. Oh, left so you're staying career. on the Mac Jones. Okay. Yeah. Right. A lot, lot, well, if, I mean, guy just got a hundred mil or something, right? From the from the Bucks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not I don't give up that quickly. Listen, I've said this hand up. Patriots are a bad situation. Coach gone, team stinks. Nobody was gonna succeed there. So Good for him. Now he's obviously the backup. Who knows? Uh, Trevor Lawrence breaks a leg. Suddenly he's in the Super Bowl. Then what? What's your? Where do you land on the side of this documentary? Because you're obviously close with all these guys, but it's just a Belichick hit piece. Yeah, it feels that way. I it's talked. Crazy. I told you Edelman was next to me. He was very upset about it. It's uh, crazy. Yeah, it feels like a Belichick hit piece. It really does. I don't it, know, like, why Belichick agreed to do it. it. I think because he was he was employed. Yeah, at the time, I guess he, but he <laughs> still wouldn't do anything. I, yeah, I liked the last two episodes. I tweeted out not just because we we're in it, but they actually like were enjoyable. I had chills watching the comeback twenty eight three. The episodes before, I was like depressed. I, I'd rather not have watched. We spent we've spent more time on negative issues 
like for all the success and they've been incredible games. Like I didn't, as much as I've seen, I guess I was at the game. I never really processed how close the the ball Edelman caught off the hand leg was to intercepted, but that's, I've hungry. said that Patriot Super Bowl, so many love breaks. Yeah. It's not, I don't think anybody has thought the dynasty is what we wanted it to be, but it certainly seems like it's pro Brady, craft anti belichick yeah i mean they they did an entire episode where they're like belichick basically murdered hernandez yeah he he was holding the gun with aaron hernandez killing that him. was crazy i don't know why they gave that an hour to begin with like it, we all know nuts. he killed a bunch of people there's already been a documentary as a patriot fan and i'm not saying this sorry like facetiously because there's a lot of there's a ton of high moments and there's a lot of low moments. For me, 18-1, to one, number one low moment. The game they lost to the Broncos going for a three-peat low moment. When they uh, went for it on fourth down against the Colts, when the Colts hadn't beat them, low moment. Losing the Jets, playoffs, low. So there's a lot of low moments. I have them. Tons of high moments. It, it, the Hernandez doesn't really re- – like, he's just a psychopath murderer. But, like, when they're like, oh, why didn't you trade him to the West Coast? Like he knew he was going to murder somebody like a coach just will trade a guy just because it makes no sense. So I agree yeah. with you that he he's getting railroaded. Um, Francis Naganu fought Joshua, uh, Anthony Joshua. This is a, another fight. I didn't know happened until it was over. Yeah. Cause it was, it was in what Abu Dhabi or something. And I, yeah, I was something like crazy. I was like driving to pick up dinner and I looked at my phone. And I was like, Oh, he just got knocked out. And that's an understatement as a boxing purist. Yep. I needed this. Yeah, this was big because the Gypsy King Tyson Fury struggled with Nagano, and you had Robbie Fox and the MMA crowd be like, "Oh, boxers, they stink!" Like anyone can do it. I think Tyson Fury just didn't try at all, didn't train, no. didn't do anything. Because this is the first time in all of the boxing versus MMA where it looked like the boxer was like, "I'm taking this as serious as I can take it," and he crumpled them. Yeah, like all this other stuff, like Mayweather versus uh, McGregor. Like I don't think Mayweather like really tried, and and clearly it doesn't look like Gypsy King tried. And now you have Tyson versus it's a whole new. I don't know what the point of that is. Like I'm gonna watch it, but I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't. Good what for Francis Ngannou. He got paid. Yeah. What do you think of the the Jake Paul Tyson? I'm gonna watch your it. tweet was perfect. You were like, I've been robbed so many times because you're you guys are a little older than me. I was I obviously knew about the Tyson fights, but I wasn't old enough to enjoy him. But like, yeah, I mean he's Tyson robbed people for a long time. For I the know. longest time. I used to I used to beg my dad, yeah. I was like, it's Tyson, it's Tyson. And it just they sucked. He was yeah. a shell and of himself doing it for again. years. And he's doing, and he's doing well, it again. And people this are gonna watch. Free. Free, yeah, yeah. yeah, because it's free. I was confused on that. But I mean, it's still a waste of time watching. Like, you really think you're going to get something out of it? How old is he? 67? 60. He's good. 58. Yeah. He's 60 years old, basically, which is, I don't even know how. Nice. How does that help how Jake How does that Paul? get sanctioned? How does that help well, Jake Paul? So they might do the no knockdown uh, thing, which would suck. Like, why would you watch if there's the no knockdown? What do you mean? If you get knocked down, it's over? Yeah. they. I think that was the first. Didn't Tyson fight? Someone or no Mayweather fought. No, Tyson uh, fought Roy Jones, didn't he? He might have, but didn't Mayweather fight one of the Pauls? Yeah, he fought J- uh, he fight Logan. Logan. Horrible. Yeah, and I think horrible. that was the rule for that one, where it's like you can't knock him out because it was like they couldn't fully sanction it, which is crazy. That's like why are we watching? I I mean the answer to Jake Paul. This is I don't know if they probably haven't released the figures. It has to be a preposterous payday because he's gone. He stopped fighting the MMA guys under the the thesis he wants to be a real boxer. So how does this help him if he wants to be considered a real boxer? It doesn't. Imagine if he really hurt him. Imagine if he like hurt him. It's I like think he like I, hurt an old man. Yeah, no, I think he's the the real boxer thing went out the window when he lost to Tommy Fury. That was it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Tommy yeah. Fury's at the bottom of the boxing world. Yeah. And he lost to him. Yeah, he's just collecting paychecks. Crazy. It's a crazy event. It shouldn't happen, but like, I mean, so I would not have bought it, but it's free, so I'll watch it. I yeah. crazy. Somebody should be in jail from Netflix. Crazy. Like, this is this is barbaric. It's like, how old is Jake Paul? But it's Tyson. Give me 60, Dan. 
He could not come out. Showing, Dave. They keep showing that clip, but they're not showing the clip of him not being able to walk two years ago. But Dave, I know it's Tyson. Oh my God. He just has to catch him with one. Russell Wilson on the yeah, move. How's Jerry spinning this, Dan? He said he got rid of all the future on his. They got, you got the fourth. You go from the fourth quarterback in the division to the fourth quarterback in the division. I also love this Russell Wilson. Like this is the the time when Rapport and Schefter just like carry water for all the agents when they're like Russell Wilson signs team friendly deal. He had no other deals. It's not a team friendly deal. It's a Russell Wilson friendly deal because like he's Russell Wilson wasn't like oh let me sign for a million and a half bucks to help out the Steelers. That's what his market is. Yeah, yeah. It it it's interesting. I. Is what? Yeah, I didn't see. Is Jerry happy with this? No, I don't think so. Really. I, although I will say Russell Wilson's crazy. smart to do the the instant promo with the um, terrible with the towels. renegade yes. clip. Yeah, I yeah. immediately was like, "This is a great signing." It is what, a good um, PR move. What you guys? Where are you leaning, Dan? For what? Is it now you're keeping Fields? No, I I want Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams what? is is going to be great. What are they saying is going to happen? I don't know because it was obviously Steelers, then it was Falcons. I I I'll I take think them. They're, there's a chance, yeah, maybe. Be, no, I don't, but you guys are going to draft someone. I, there's a no, chance. no, we don't. We're keeping the three. We'll give you a second rounder. There's a chance that the Bears maybe like, which I think would be a mistake. Keep Fields and still draft Caleb Williams and be like, someone's going to get hurt, and then we'll get more for Justin Fields. But that feels like a let's, dangerous let, let, proposition. Let's play. Let's let's play GMs. I'm interested, but okay. I want to keep my three. I'll give basically everything else is on the board. Yeah, you you want to give me a second rounder? Yeah, I'll gladly. Done. You do second for Fields? Instant. Are you kidding me? Then what are we doing? No <laughs> one wants to pay a second rounder for him. You just got fucking yeah, I think fleeced. They're saying third. What are they saying? Dan, no, third? no, I'm giving you Planet. my second. Dave got fleeced. No, no, with the handshake it. Second. Yeah, you got I, fleeced. I, Fields, you got fleeced. Marvin Harrison Jr. Get a get, bring me in, get you their losing fleeced. mentality out of their mind you from got Ohio fleeced. State. Yeah, you got second fleeced. rounder for Fields. Yeah, you got heartbeat. fleeced. You got fleeced. I, you know what? I'm I'm literally when this is over, I'm gonna text. Good, uh, I'll text crafts. Ryan Poles. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, let's let's get them all on the text chain together. Yeah, done. I'm Easy. not kidding. I'm not kidding, Dave. If I you get friends. a second rounder, I'm doing it in a second. Are you same kidding here? Me? Same here. That's like the what the thirty fifth pick in the draft. Yes, yes, all day, all day, all day. Done, done. Fine, I'm texting. I'm texting too. I'm gonna say, hey, hey, polls. I was talking to a Patriots insider. You might want to call them. Yeah, second rounder. And I'm gonna text my guys and say, I heard Fields is on the market for a second rounder. Draft Harrison. Suddenly, we got something. <laughs> They're gonna laugh you, laugh at you. <laughs> I'm happy. Look, you only got to find one sucker. I found him. So How's we're this? good. All right, good. No, I'm I'm happy. I've been saying so I'm I do happy. this deal forever. I'm happier. I'm happier than you. Okay, good. Then let's make this happen. Um, Great. College basketball. Danny Hurley threatening to beat to hurt a Providence fan. Did then do you see the video of the Providence old guy who yes. was like mooning? Yeah, I love all of it. Uh, Dan, you it. told me to bet on UConn to win the title a long time ago. I didn't. I wish I did. I don't know what uh, they're down to now. They're at what? five to one. I what took them four- fourteen. Yeah, yeah, I took them fourteen to one in December. They um, this is happening like almost every game for Danny Hurley. There, there's he, like he fans was... will just chirp him, and he's about it. Like he's like, come on down here, you'll get hurt. And he just which is a great it, like, line. And yeah. he's right. Like he I, was I would jacked up Hurley in the St. fight John's against anyone. Game. The only thing I worry about is like. And I love, like, I love his attitude, but it, he's won a title. He's going for the back-to-back. -back. Like, is this a little, should he, should he be the guy trying to fight fans? Yeah, I don't know that you're in any spot to criticize. Yeah. Okay. As soon I actually as you're have working... a point about that, Dave, I'd like to bring yeah. up. Okay. Um, yours? Because I would, I would like to maybe, before we get to the tournament, I want on record uh, the, the 17 teams that Rico is rooting for this year. I actually had a question about that. Okay. So, but before we do that, Rico had a tweet. Where he said, "Connect Dalton, connect from Tennessee may be enough to overcome how bad Rick Barnes is." Who are you to talk with some of the guys you ride for? You, Nate Oates had the one seed last year and fucking, and they choked. He's never been. He's never been to a Final Four. 
Fran McCaffrey, your fucking boo bear at Iowa, has been coaching for a thousand years. He's never been to the second weekend. Who are you to talk? Nate Oates hasn't been to a Final Four, and you're criticizing Rick Barnes? I'm like, confused. I get Rick Barnes. Everyone can make Rick Barnes he's shit. Overrated. Barnes suck. is overrated. Okay, but Barnes he's has been also to... been around for 25 years. Oates been okay. a head coach for 10. Uh, okay. Well, that's not nothing. But Nate. Fran McCaffrey, what are you about? Hey, you you just team. forget the Fran McCaffrey thing. You never bring up Fran McCaffrey. You you criticize every coach under the sun. Fran McCaffrey's never been to the second weekend, Rico. It, it, and what about this Division II team that we're covering like they're the fucking UCLA's wooden team? It's Arkansas State. They're playing who, for the fucking championship tonight. Who are Holds they? Up. Why, like, Holds up. Well, I, don't need, I, I, don't, I don't need a full-time Arkansas State guy. I'm not a full-time Arkansas State guy. I was one night. Can I ask a question though, Rico? If if Nate Oates took the 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 uh, an NBA job tomorrow, you wouldn't give a fuck about Alabama. No, absolutely not. It's, I it's believe crazy in then. If all these poor people in Alabama, you, not poor literally, I but I'm saying people. like yeah, I feel Brian, bad for Brian's one of the most impressive guys out there. I, I believe in people. I feel Your bad. people all stink though. Yeah, they no, stink. They don't he's and playing for you, a conference championship? We're gonna Barnes. slap PFT's ass tonight. Right. Wait, who you're talking about Arkansas State again? Yes. Yeah, P, well, PFT actually went to JMU and Ebo, but what? Rico What's is the line the on that of the game? month. Five and a half. Who? JMU. The oh, flavor of the JMU. month is Arkansas State for Rico. Rico, so these poor Alabama fans think that you're riding with them and like I you're am. not. You don't give a fuck about the players. You don't give a fuck about the program. You care about only NATO. I believe in people. You went on a boat with him once. And he guy. sucked you what off. What do you want me to say? I believe. How in do you people. think I feel, Dan? As oh, hey, Dan, company. I'm gonna text Foles. I'm gonna te- like you can only have friends. Who? Only you can Who? have fucking Wait, friends. Wait, what? Who? Who did you Whoever, say? Bowles, whatever. With a guy from Chicago. Only Bowles? you can have friends. Bowles? No, no, no. But Rico, do you understand what? the difference? If I were doing press conferences. At halftime of a Buffalo Bills game, being like, we got to run the ball. Josh has got, Josh, they got to give Josh more support. They would rip me apart. I, I, and my only thing besides that, like, all right, Alabama, but if we're going to dedicate all this time and resources to watching a team, let's get one that more than four people know they even exist. Like, Ar- like we have a full time Arkansas State guy. Like what's the I wouldn't point say full time. I wouldn't what, say full time. What, what what city is Arkansas State in? Jonesboro. Jonesboro, Arkansas. Yeah. Is that a big town? No, they got a little bit of money down there though. He's doing well with recruiting. I just want the people. Blue collar people. Blue collar. Blue collar people. Call, call like, why? I don't know how we became an Arkansas State company. It's like crazy. Listen, it's whoever saying, whoever State bats an eyelash. Like everyone's devol- It was one night. Rico. He likes me and Frank. They sent us down. We're going to the game. All right. Oh, yeah. And Ryan's I think my guy. I, 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 I did get a seasonal little depression. I did get a little intel, Dave, when I saw Rico at the combine. I asked him how it went. I think Bosco might have been a little upset that Frank was the, the talk of Man, the town and not the Bosco. No, no, no. He brought Man, the Frank, wrong guy. There's absolutely he brought not, the wrong no. guy. Well, that, so Brian's a Bills guy and Frank's a Dolphins guy. They naturally connected. Me and Frank do well together. Absolutely no issue. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, Bosco, let me ask you this. So, I just want the people of Alabama to know that Rico does not care about your program. He cares about Nate Oates. I care about their program while they have Oates. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So, the minute he's gone, you will not even watch another Alabama. Do you remember when he was a Duke guy? Yeah. Who? Give us a list of teams. Are you still Duke guy as as Shires like no, basically that, yeah, apologizing thought, while they rain like that game had no juice. batteries on the UNC players? That game had no the game had no juice. Um what do you mean? What? What do you mean it had it, no juice? Compared compared to what it usually has, I don't think people are as, as excited about Duke Carolina as they have been. Why? But what hold on. Newer newer coaches. I don't think the players are as dynamic. Did you repeating. watch the game? Yes, I watched the game. You watched the game. You thought there was no juice because there was fucking juice. The Carolina guys were fucking chirping at the fans the entire time. Talking I don't think shit, he watched hit the a game. I, I, compared I don't to, think he hit, okay, watched I, it. Right, I didn't watch it. Okay, fair enough. I don't think did, he watched it. Did you or didn't you? You, you never can win. With you but did you? Never can fucking win. But did you? Compared to the did last five the years, Dan, when it was Krzyzewski and Williams. I don't think you watched I, the game. Did I also don't think they should go two Saturdays. I think they should go during the week. They should go back rivalry week. Did you watch the game? Yes. Yes. All of it. That was juice. Cormac Ryan was going off, and he every time he hit a big three, he turned to the stands and fucking and, and shit talk. That's juice. Yeah. Well, he learned from Mike Bray. Mike Bray, phenomenal coach. White whale. 
Uh, Give us the teams. Wait, I want the teams, Dave. Oh, yeah. Alabama, right. Arkansas State, Utah State. Danny Sprinkle's going to win fucking coach of the year. Tyler Kolick's a friend. They played nobody. Okay, played nobody. Your team they right have, now they make played the nobody non con. Look at their non con. By the way, Dave, healthy debate the picture when they when she did the Kobe thing, when she was asked for. Anybody ever storm the court and when they, and paint the body yeah. and win the t- when they win the, the title and the to lose to, the game as a ten point fucking favorite? Anybody ever do that? They were not a ten point favorite, you idiot. They were not a ten point favorite. You got a share of the title. You got a share. Okay. Don't count your chickens till the they time. Have. At the time, we had won the title, and I went to the You won a half. School. You clinched a half. You clinched a half. You <laughs> this clinched is, a this, half. This is fucking – so that's what that's your counterpoint, and that's oh, also no, because, because you're such, only you were such a narrative. fucking baby. You were such a narrative. baby at the it time. It only fits your narrative. When Caitlin Clark does it, when she was asked, she's the I best player on earth. I had two-thirds. Fuck her. I had, going, fuck her, fuck her, fuck her. You celebrated a half title. I, I had two good point. You know what this good is? Point. It's, it's a good point. Dave, 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 hold on. <laughs> it's a good point. Hold on, Dave. Good point. Dave, with it's a good everything point. With everything with Bosco, there's something. There's always something underneath. I had two thirds of bench mob. Shout out bench mob. Who could forget? I had two thirds of bench mob with me. Rico was a little pouty boy that he wasn't able to come. I had uh, Jake and and Marty not really. with me. Marty was dressed. Your your co arguably the worst show that's ever been aired on this on this network. Had a Agreed. great time, and it's the school I went to. And now you're comparing it to what? That I well, just said. Well, you, you said were on Caitlin Utah Clark. State didn't play anyone. You're on Caitlin Clark. All I said was Utah State didn't play anyone. Non-conference. You sexualized Taylor Swift. Besides the Anna, oh, I haven't seen go. many women now on he's that show. The hits for Dave, <laughs> fucking up the Dave. All right, so keep going. So, all right, so Arkansas State, Alabama, Utah State. Tyler, Tyler Kolick's a friend. They got friends what? at Houston. Uh, you, wait, so is that a team or no? What? Yeah. Yeah, does that qualify if you have a friend? Like, Tyler? Yeah, friend. So you That's have, how we, yeah, so, we qualify. So yeah. Marquette is a team. Danny's a, Danny Hurley was dapping me up in the hallway when we went there. You just, you just criticized them. K- no, I, I said just, just a, little, a little bit. I think you should worry a little bit. K-State, Northwestern, Rutgers. No, we're talking about teams that are making it in the tournament, Rico. Kansas, Charleston, Pat Kelsey. Utah, Purdue, Zach Eady's a friend. Oh, my God. FAU. Give it half the field. Western Carolina got knocked out. Iowa, Davidson, they play tomorrow. Oklahoma, Porter Moser, Dave. You should, if you can't get him tickets or you can't use the tickets, why don't you send him to Margaritaville? I don't what? know what you're talking about. The coach of Oklahoma is a massive Jimmy Buffett guy. Yes, yeah, so send them, Dave. I'm gonna have to. You guys, we should all get a. We should get a, a high noon in uh, Phoenix. I'm not doing any of those coach junkets with you. I don't like those. Well, yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I don't want to have to dress up like you do, walking the okay. streets in 80 degree weather, right. and wearing fancy. He's got tux, conferences to go to. All right, is that the whole list? Shoes. Well, yeah, is, I'm going out early. Uh, yeah, that I don't know. There's more. We'll see when the bracket and, comes. But and last question, friends. Alabama. What what success in the tournament this year? Because I want, I don't want changing of, I don't want you to fucking change well, it all depends where on you're the draw, at. Dan. Depends like, on the I, draw. Here, I'll go first. I'll go first, Rico. Wisconsin's not very good. They can't hit a three the last month. They've fallen off a cliff. I don't think they're going to win a game in the tournament. If they win a game in the tournament, I'll be very happy. Now tell me Alabama so that we can judge it. So you can't play your little game being like, little- actually, Nate Oates did a great job this year. It's a little concerning that our defense is like 177 since February. Okay. I think some guys are stepping up. Cosby's stepping up. Walters is stepping up. Right. Not answer answering the, the question. question. Just answer, answer the, the question. question. Success? We got to get to Phoenix. Okay, right, so, so five I got to be on the court. I got to okay. be on the court Thursday and Friday at practice in a full sweatsuit with the hard hat. Oates is, not gonna, Oates is not going to let you on the court in Phoenix. I have a credential. I will be. You can get on okay, the court. Okay, so that's different than Oates like being like, <laughs> Oates is gonna forget your number. He forgot his. He forgot your number when we needed him in Tuscaloosa. That's true. He had recruits. He couldn't make the show. He Not went true. to Staten Island. He didn't even get a cup of coffee with you. True. He didn't go to Staten Island. He went to Stepanak. Dave, by the way, shout out Stepanak. They just won the city title. I got a package for you for next week. Great. All right. Uh, after show, 
This I'm excited off. for March, Bosco. I, it's gonna listen. Be a good, yeah, you keep trying to doubt. You're like, mur, mur. I was a little nervous, and I got to talk to Dave about something. Wait, so, I was. It was. No, I got some news no, that day too. I got some no, news that day. No, no. Wait, what was you, I? Did you just say you had talked to me about something? Talk to him about it. Well, no, actually, no, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, fine. What so is then, it? No problem. It, what well, is it? Was, it was. It was news that made me a little nervous as well. So that was, you know, whatever. But I battled through. You battled through. What? The day I went to the combine, I got some news. So I was like, oh, shit, I got to deal with this. But I, whatever. Company Nine news? Times, I banged company, it out. company news? No, not company news. Personal news. Oh. So you're not going to be there for the tournament? I'm I'm going to be. Did you just? I'm going to be there. This is all. It's all friends. Dave, let's roll. Let's roll together. You got Dave's only been there for two bets. days, you Bosco. You're rolling with me. While. Let's roll. You're rolling with me, Bosco. No, it's, a, it's, Mario, it's Mario Party. Two and two, and you already picked your guy. <laughs> what do you mean? You you mean PFT because he went to JMU? <laughs> I think you're talking about the young pup. Oh, he's still mad about Jerry. I'm yeah. not mad about it. Dave turned down our show, though. Dan, what do you think about this? Old dog, new dog, we go see famous people's dogs. No. All right. Jerry All right. suggested it. That's uh, That's the rundown. No, no wait, what was the after show, Dave? You it's just Mitzi and his wedding. Um, Mental. He, we have him air tag, Dave, by the way. You know that. He's so stupid. We 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 track him like a shark now. Good, you should. <laughs> we have, we have, tennis, what did he do? Isn't that isn't thing? that what I wanted when I was gonna put inspector balls on him that time? Yeah. When he was just supposed to trail him for a week and see what he does. He well, I'm telling you, when I told him like this Jimmy Buffett thing, which honestly, that's I don't know if they're doing this once ever or for people who didn't see what I tweeted. Jimmy Buffett's having like a tribute show in LA and it's like Paul McCartney, Zach Brown, Kenny Chesney, fucking it. it it's a list, a list. And it's, we have the mini golf tournament, so I can't go. Hank's like basically told me to throw it, which I found insulting. It's a two day tournament. No, you He's can't like, throw it. No, I go, I'm not throwing the fucking tournament, but I, Mincy, like Mincy skipped a sponsored event to play in a poker tournament that happens every every weekend, and I, I'm skipping. I really hope it's not once in a lifetime. By the way, the Jimmy Buffett fans to have it in L.A. is kind of yeah, a I slap in the face. He doesn't like California. He, he's yeah. made many songs. That he doesn't like California, so should be in Florida. Uh, but Dave, if you ever need to know where Mincy, where is, Mincy I can is, get that for you okay. instantly. That's what did he do know. to the tennis thing? What was the tennis thing? Somebody called him about healthy debate. They're like, you heard about this tennis thing? He I just uh, shut him down because I was like, I don't want to fucking mess this no, up. No, he so he went he went oh, out for yeah, a sponsored yeah, deal yeah. and uh Blutman went with him and they told me that the the people who were running the sponsored deal said told him two things and said, Do not repeat this. And Mincy even said to him, He's like, I'm bad with information when given to me. Went straight, made a video, and said the thing that you're not supposed to say. Nice. Miss Dave, what Peaches about that? unboxing. At, oh, yeah. Miss Peaches unboxing at 7 p.m. I'm doing a one-timer to get through, so don't send more gifts, but that'll be on her Insta. Um, yeah, I, I, that's been setting a record on pup bottles. I don't know how many times I can do, get a new champagne bottle for Deadspin, but uh, they got sold. Everybody got fired. And Julie DeCaro, that rat, she always says the same thing. She's like, can't wait to see people celebrating me losing your job. Yeah, because you're miserable. You're a yeah, miserable and, human. And and you celebrate every time anyone does anything that you deem not right. Like you're, yes. that's what you do. You can't, you get what you give. Okay. Yes. If you give it, you're going to get it. And I, I agree, Dave. I don't know how many times, how, how are they still? It's like I didn't the even know it was time. still a thing. Yeah. It's like the fourth time. So RIP to them for the fourth time. Uh, I have a funny Dante story. I was going to do it on the unnamed show. I don't know if Dante's crazy. Oh, he is. But like, in a good way. But I don't know if he's in a good way. I for the first time maybe like he's off the reservation crazy. What happened? He's he I I think Dante, he's lost his mind. Yeah. I I put Dante under maybe the, the COVID kind of changed him. <laughs> so we went out before the fights, UFC, me, Will, Taylor, I took him out. Compton, I I'm friends with this guy, Grutman, I've mentioned him before. He owns a bunch of places in Miami. I've known him for years. He's a friend of mine. I picked one of his spots. Compton didn't know that. Fine. It, and it's like a trendy spot. It's good. Compton starts, I don't want to say trash me. It's like I did the reviews. Stars team to be a little low before we sat down. So instantly, I'm like, oh my, like, I'm friends with the guy who owns it, Will. Food's good. We eat it. 
Dante's going crazy. Crazy. He's like, how could you ever say good things about this restaurant? You're a sellout. I talked in Italian to the waiter. It was like, what are you talking about? Like he was going insane. And he was going insane that I trashed that hotel in Tampa, the, the addition. And I'm like, do you know somebody there? He's like, no. I'm like, he he was livid. I, I, the, the, the last only 48 good part, hours of Dante, I can't. It, he, it's crazy. The only thing I'll say is he he's he will have maybe those moments where he has a strong opinion, but he's the same. Like I, like he doesn't. He's not like mad. You know what I mean? He doesn't hold it forever. Let me go read what he said. It was yeah, wild. He did that with Hank. We had um, we got the popcorn machine in here, and Dante texted Hank and was like, "You guys really did this? Like without me, you're dead to me." And the next day, I was like, "What's what happened, Dante?" He's like, "Oh no, I just I knew some of the people there, and and I didn't know how the deal came about. It was like totally normal. He's a no he's normal. He just has moments. Really, That's why I love him. He gets he really disappointed in you. Really disappointed in you. This is at eleven o'clock on Saturday. You go from ripping a place to shreds over minor details to propping up a smoke and mirrors operation via Compton because you're friends with the owner with an X, like." I talked to our waiter in Italian after barely touching the apps. Asked him, what do I do here? He's, he's, are you out of your mind? On and on. It's like, what? Do you, first that. of all, food's good. Second of all, even if it wasn't good, he is my friend. You know, he's my friend. So what, what do you, what's your problem? I love what are you it. just not in your head, Rico. You're making good points. Crazy. I got to get him on the unnamed show. Yeah, you do. Uh, all right. Uh, that's all I had. All right. All right. You excited for next week, Dave? Yeah, I am. It's a lot of travel. Yep. The Rico, ice, stay- ice con well, was a couple, couple games away from the baton death march. Everyone blood all over their white shirts in the crowd. He called me the other night. He was just like, what do you do to get out of a slump? He was, was crying like, after he broke his slump on video. <laughs> he needed it. He I told crying. him, I was like, dude. I said, I told Elio, I was like, I'll take the blame. Like, let me release the pick for you. I'll take the blame. If it hits, you could take the winner. He's like, no, I got to do it for the ice people. He's a man of honor. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you guys later. All right.